Virgo, welcome to your monthly love reading, general reading. This is only, this is, it was, you know what? <laughs> it's not going to resonate with all of you guys out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo placement that matters to you, you may find messages that resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Virgo, we are jumping right in. Lots of swords, eight of swords, first card out. King of Pentacles, Earth sign energy could absolutely be you. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and the Knight of Swords, air sign energy. Uh, Aqua, Gemini, Libra. Very strange little sandwich we got going on here. Very strange little sandwich. Let's see what else we got for Virgo. Three more cards, please. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. There's some sort of... I feel like there's someone coming at you saying something. Maybe someone that was stuck in their mind about saying this to you before. It's like they were stuck in their mind as to whether or not to come towards you and say something. Really overthinking it. And it looks like it's like a sudden switch. It's like, I'm going to say it. And it kind of just comes out abruptly. Also it could be that they kind of just blurt it out. The Knight of Swords is very fast moving energy. Um, compared to the Eight of Swords. And the King of Pentacles doesn't really move that fast. It's a very methodical sort of energy. Likes to know what he's getting himself into. But it's like someone's going from 0 to 100. Real quick. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Clearly. They're going to say it. They got something to say. Might be blurred out. But it's beautiful energy. To whoever this is in the Eight of Swords. That Ace of Swords is absolutely going to set them free. If someone's been biting their tongue is what I just heard. Could be you. Someone's been biting their tongue here. Damn with the swords. Heavy on the air sign energy. Someone's been biting their tongue and I think they're done biting their tongue. This is an entire cycle here from the ace to the ten. So they've they've overthought their self to death. Is the vibe that I'm getting here. Someone has been thinking this thing to death. They've thought the life out of this. And it's like, I can't do it no more. I just gotta say it. Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth. It's also a Yes card. It's also a Now card. And whatever this is that's about to be said to you, it's going to create some sort of clarity. Or it's going to lighten someone. It's like someone has something to get off their chest. They're done sort of, you know, not saying it or keeping this to themselves or biting their tongue. It does look like it's someone coming to you, though, with this King of Pentacles. You're very much minding your business, though. Wow. Four swords, bottom of the deck, queen of pentacles. So, if you are in a relationship with someone, looks like they got something to say to you. And this is not something that they're going to say lightly. There's been a lot of thought, almost too much, not almost, definitely even too much thought about whether or not to express this. I do get it, someone that has something to express. Could be this king of pentacles, you could be dealing with someone else that has air, uh, earth in their chart heavy. I am getting you as the feminine energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Male or female, it does not matter. That just means we're not chasing anything. We are allowing what is for us to come to us. In the meantime, in between time, we're minding our business. Things that benefit us. Things that, you know, it's going to ensure growth and stability for the future. Whatever that looks like for you. Very much not really paying attention to people around you. You know? Looks like a king of pentacles energy also could be someone with heavy air in their chart. They've been holding their tongue, biting their tongue. They've been wanting to say something. Looks like this person is your match, though. Could be that they're seeing you that way. They're seeing you as an ideal match, but have not had the balls to say it. Look at this thinking. Someone you might have been on a... Had some sort of distance from a little bit. Or they've been kind of distant. But this is very contradicting energy, very polar energy, very stagnant, no movement to like word vomit. Because they're tired of thinking about this. They're tired of ruminating over this over and over. They're tired of seeing you and not saying nothing. Could be because you're completely unbothered too. It's kind of even irritating them more. The fact that you're not bothered. So it's kind of like irking them even more. It could be what the swords represent. <laughs> <laughs> like and it's like a you know when you shake up a pop can 
It rises, it rises and rises, then it explodes. Yeah, yeah. Someone is looking at you like you are it. You are the one, you are it. You are, you are sent from heaven. <laughs> Look at this, page of wands, good news. Absolutely, someone's getting ready to reach out. I think they're about to tell you that you make them very happy. You are their sunshine. Leo energy here, happiest card in the deck being in flow, being creative. We also have the Ten of Cups here, which is long-term happiness, family, stability. And we have the Empress. Someone might want to get you pregnant. They're ready to invest. They're ready to invest. Maybe they regret not saying this sooner, but still very much thinking hung up on the subject, fear. Yeah, I told you, there's something that you don't know. Someone's not telling you something. And I don't think it's negative. I just think they're not telling you the extent of emotions the moon rules our emotions it also moon rules things that we're not aware of things that we can't see so someone's absolutely doing their best to keep their emotions hidden that could be what they regret doing someone here regrets not expressing not showing you how much they really care about you and it looks like it's 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 like someone's like fantasizing about you guys future together here and on the on the exterior they're calm cool and collected some sort of fear around this, you know, but it, look, the sun is here. So whatever is not being said, it's going to be said. It's only a matter of time. This person is a ticking time bomb. This person is a ticking time bomb. I don't know if it's something you do that triggers them to just say it. Maybe they feel like they're losing you, but they see, they see forever with you going from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. Queen of Pentacles and Empress are the only married feminines in the deck. Committed, I should say, not necessarily married, but they're they're the only ones that's in a relationship. All the other ones are single, which is only the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the uh, Queen of Swords. You have the two committed queens here, and you have a masculine that's very much showing up as your true match. So someone's finally ready to let you know what it is they're thinking, and it looks like they're thinking of forever. They're thinking of forever. They're no longer allowing the fear to keep them stuck because as you can see his back is turned to this moon card here he's finally ready to reveal these deep emotions that he's been keeping very very quiet might start off like hey want to go out for lunch want to go out for dinner and then at dinner after a couple of drinks it's like listen i love you i think we should get married under the moonlight you know what i mean like that type of thing it's like whoa I mean, I like you too, but I know where did this come from? This person wants to invest. Seven of Pentacles is putting in time, energy into building something, into creating. And there's very much long term, I want to marry you energy here, Empress and the Ten of Cups. You make them extremely happy. Oh, and it looks like you, they make you happy too. Two of Cups, that's a mutual partnership. That's two people that feel the exact same way about each other. Yeah, someone's making the choice to go on and to take this new path. Someone's making the choice. We have the Lover's card here, Major Arcana and Gemini Energy. This is choosing love. Someone's choosing love. They're choosing fear over love, quite literally. They know it's going to create a lot of change. Things are going to be looking very different, but it's almost like a risk worth taking. We have the Ace of Wands here. They're very passionate about you. Yeah, this took forever. Someone definitely took forever to express how much, how much they really love you. Here comes the work. Here comes the alignment. I think they're feeling driven and feeling led. To make this to take this move now very attracted to you stars are alignment aligning basically look, beautiful energy get ready someone's about to word vomit on you let's get the romance angels see what they got going on for you virgo you make someone very happy and they've been downplaying it they've been not expressing they've maybe just been showing you lightly oh you, you might be thinking this person likes me you know we like each other but no it's way past like it's way past like they're like rotting their brain over thinking of how beautiful things can be how much potential there is also could be rated waiting for the right time is what i'm seeing with the seven of pentacles someone could be waiting for the right time but it's like there is no right time you're just letting life pass you by time waits for no man so why should you why should you i think they're realizing there is no right time the more they wait is the more they sort of drive themselves down the rabbit hole of thinking about it. And the fear gets deeper, right? We have here separation. 
time apart from your partners on the horizon. I am kind of getting that vibe with the Four of Swords that there could be some sort of distance or some sort of silence going on a little bit, but that's not going to last long. This person is in deep contemplation because I think it's hitting them how much they're really invested into this. So it's like that pullback before the slingshot, right? Someone's realizing how invested they are. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So as I said, it won't be long. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations, past life relationship, wedding, chemistry, keep an open mind. So don't write this person off just yet. If there's a bit of distance, a bit of silence, a bit of um, quietness, and you know that you know things have been going really well, I think there's a shock factor that's happening for someone here. They're really contemplating, okay, what am I going to do with this? How am I going to go about this? Because this is absolutely someone that I completely would want to be in my life for a long time. Should I make my move now? Should I wait? Should I do it left? Should I go right? Will I scare them? <laughs> All these things that human beings, you know? But it looks like there will come a time where they just blurt it out. I think they're, they're going to realize there's never there's never going to be a good time. You know, there's never going to be a good time. But there will be a moment where they're kind of just triggered to say it. What do we have for Virgo? Your dreams need a practical plan. That could also be the problem. Someone's trying to be too practical. Full moon in Taurus. So you are absolutely someone's dream, but there, there's too, there's maybe too much practicality that they're, try, that they're trying to calculate in. And this is saying you got to just go with the flow. The sun card is very much go with the flow. There is no right time. If you feel led to communicate your feelings to someone, then do so. You don't want to live with regrets. Five of Cups. Also could be someone has been through some shitty past sort of experience and that is what's sort of keeping them in this fear position like what if it happens again but you'll never know unless you explore it and go ahead and tap in you'll never know sacred beetle magic works through you number 52 which is seven so this is absolutely someone realizing if i don't say it i'll never know closed mouths don't get fed what's the worst that could happen you know what's the worst that could happen i've already been through shitty shit What's the worst that can happen? What do we have for Virgo? Whoa, your worth is not tied to your productivity. Don't water yourself down for anyone. They can take all of you or nothing at all. This is absolutely someone tapping into who they really are. And who they really are is in love with you. Not everything needs to make sense or be logically planned. Not everything can be logically planned, map, mapped out and timed. You just got to just go with what you're feeling. And someone is feeling they need to tell you what they're really thinking for the two of you. All right, Virgo, that is your reading. I do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. I'm going to see you guys next week.